<gasps> it's letting me ride. You know what? I forgot the ride button. I think, uh... Oh, you can control it, too. That's legit. Yes. Here you go, Rixus. You can control it uh, to some extent, too. Dude, this is this is so cool. I am like loving this right now. All right, we'll probably start heading. I'm guessing these symbols are supposed to tell a story. Looks like people worshiping a shark god. Hmm. Not quite sure what it means yet. Mean. Oh. Now there's a meditation point. Whoa, there's a whale down there. Not finding the the um, whale that I saw down at the bottom. the school. Huh. This place would freak you out in like real life. Oh, I agree. If I was if I was in this situation in real life, I would like be simultaneously in awe and scared so scared so bad I would be like frozen in fear but also in just like awe of like the beauty be a mixed bag be a mixed bag for me I think that's what I'm trying to say but that's why we have games so we don't have to actually dive into these areas ourselves chain these statues that is a weird looking fish Oh, thank you for the auto host, Rixus. Get our little robot buddy.
Alright, so this is definitely some kind of underwater civilization here. Wait, which way do I go? There's a bright light that way and... Check out this one, I guess. Turn it? Yeah? Oh, that's gonna open the... Oh, it lit up one side of the door. Okay. We gotta check out the other side. I'm assuming. Yep. the underwater knowledge. I took some kind of biology class at some point in my life. I know a few names, I guess. Actually, I had some family members that were really interested in marine biology, including an uncle, so I think I might have learned some from him. Oh, it's a shark. Hide. Hide, robot. Robot. I need you to hide. I don't like this. Oh. Bam away. Okay, we might be good, we might be good. Is there anything behind here? No. Ooh. Another shell. I'm guessing these are just little hidden collectibles. Oh, an octopus! Oh, sweet! A little octopus in there. Ride the shark? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's gonna end well. I've actually never gotten close enough to try to ride it. It's creep vine. <laughs> Need more creep vine. Me crash fish. Whoa. Almost looks like a Coliseum or something. Reached another dead zone that we need to bring to life. 
back to see heaven. Really trippy, but kind of beautiful at the same time. If it's your soul. They look like big sharks. some kind of like weird life-giving goo that all the life kind of just like comes out of. Clearly there was some kind of underwater civilization. Must write it. Stop giving up your soul. <laughs> it's all right. I divided it into seven pieces with a hor like horcruxes, so I've got a few left to give still. Take a nerf shark with me. It wouldn't let me, I couldn't control that one. I actually tried. Huh. It looks like they're pouring water into the water. Is that the gooey stuff? The life-giving stuff? Some kind of orb... ...giving... ...water? Yeah, look, they're like filling up... ...this water and then pouring it out. And then fish are coming out of it. Yeah, it's gotta be the same goo stuff, I think. Uh-huh, and there's the thing... ...that I go into. I'm not, I'm still not quite sure, but there's obviously some kind of magical water thing that the old villagers would fill up and then pour great life, maybe, for the fish, sea life. Reminding you of a mobile game you really enjoyed? You gotta get to work, though. You go, what do you mean, get to work? You're, are you going to work right now? Dude. What about sleep? What about sleep, Spicy? All right, I appreciate the lurk. I appreciate the host too, really. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much for that, Spicy. I hope you have a great night. Still not really sure. Beautiful artwork. Those triangle things are a part of it. Monument Valley. Oh, spicy. I played Monument Valley. Absolutely loved it. 
I 100% agree. It's one of the few mobile games that is worth every penny you spend on it. Yeah. Spicy, I've honestly been thinking about replaying it because I loved it so much. Shark inbound. Don't say that, Eryxis. I don't want my robot to get eaten again. All underwater life. Presumably lived in harmony. That's how I'm reading this. There was harmony between villager and water. Let us meditate on this. Alright. Wait. This way. Another one of these doors. I feel like if a shark was gonna hide somewhere, it'd be right above me. No, nope, no, nope, this is an enclosed space. No, no shark. You lose your you lose your little robot buddy every time you go through that though. Noticed. Oh, that is a big whale. Oh my gosh. And a baby whale. Gosh, that's a lot of whales. Oh, oh, oh more whales. that for scale. interpretation oh oh these things are dangerous
Honestly, though, Eryxis, I wouldn't be surprised if you're not too far from the truth. There's something... There's obviously something sinister about these triangles. And look, there's some dead. Those are... Those are bones. Ah, damn it. No. No. <laughs> Is it possible to get by these? Maybe the top approach? There we go. Can I even do anything with this? I can. Each Ling, this is a game called Abzu. Um, and it's an absolutely gorgeous game with a really pretty soundtrack too, although the part of the game that I'm at um, is a little darker, and so there isn't... The beautiful music has abandoned us for now. Um, but it's an absolutely gorgeous game called Abzu. I've actually never played before. Trying it out for the first time. I apparently have the ability to kind of create some life in the ocean. I've done so at various points. Alright, I need to activate this other pump. Not get zapped. Okay, there it is. Maybe a... Ah, dang it! It got me. Oh, it got me. I made it through though. I made it through. Yeah, deactivate. Shark. Oh no, the shark. And that shark is like it's got to be the same shark, right? That shark is following me. 100%. Following me through my whole journey. It does look gorgeous for sure. And slightly intense. Well, honestly, um... Peach, it hasn't been intense the whole game until now. It's been a very kind of peaceful and at times awe-inspiring game right up until now. Oh no, the shark is caught by it. Oh, poor shark. I have compassion for the shark. I saved it. I think I made a new friend, guys. Peach brings the drama. <laughs> I know you, you did, uh, your timing was uh, kind of poor, I guess, as far as peaceful, because it's been a very peaceful game until now. Ooh, those are big whales. The shark is ahead of me at all times, so aren't I following it? Hmm. I like the way you think, Erixis. Diving pretty deep. Whoa, squid. 
Holy crap. Can I ride this, I wonder? Sometimes you can kind of ride the animals. Yeah, I can ride it. I can ride the squid. Kraken. <laughs> Got the Kraken achievement. The timing was very suspicious, but you swear it wasn't you. Okay, if you say so. Can I ride the whale? Heck yeah, I can ride the whale. Sperm whale. This thing is massive. That's a meditation point down there. Calamari! <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me hungry. I love calamari. Alright, you guys ready to go back to the trippy... trippy sea heaven? Magical sea place? Bring some, bring some life to this area, I assume. The ceiling is so beautiful. I love the ceiling of this place. Rainbows! Do you have you played this game, Rainbows? It's so beautiful. I've never played it before until now. A tasty shrimp platter. Important question: Have you found any shrimp? Answer: I think, I think I have. To be honest, I, normal sized shrimp, no. I've definitely found some squid. It's not really shrimp, but I kind of put shrimp and squid together for some reason in my mind. You are 100% innocent. You know, I don't know. Usually the person that's claiming innocence is usually at least a little bit guilty. But I'll, I'll, I'll believe you. I'll believe you. You've seen gameplays, but this is always gorgeous to watch. Honestly, it is beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful game. Fourth time's a charm for Crash Fish. Please. Please give us Crash Fish, God of the Sea. So I found. So I don't know if this. I don't know if this counts as shrimp, though. I don't think it does. I found Nautilus, a tasty shrimp platter. But I don't know. I don't think Nautilus is really shrimp. It's something else that's just kind of shrimp shaped. Closer. We're getting closer. Shellfish, right? It's in the family. Hey, Freud here. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you liked anything about it or didn't like anything about it, feel free to sound off in the comment section below. Uh, you can also find a like and subscribe button down there. Um, in the details, you'll find links to my Twitch and Twitter. And this video was edited by my friend Eternity. And you can find all of his contact information down below as well. Show him some love. I would appreciate it. He'll appreciate it. Everyone will be happy. Thanks again. I'll catch you later.